Hey everyone, welcome back to In the Shoot. I'm Brandon, he's Kalen, I'm the dad. He looks older than me, but that's just because <laughs> I've had good living, so. There. There. Uh, all right, Kalen, what do you got for us today? All right, so it was it was a, uh, it was supposed to be kind of a, a funnier tweet that I saw, but I think it's something that, it, it's actually, it, it's interesting. It's something that needs to be addressed. And it said, of all the ridiculous things on Yellowstone, the, talking about the TV show, the most unrealistic thing on the ranch is a set of panels that are all the same color and not beat the shit. <laughs> so it begs the question, how often not we wrong. See, yeah, exactly. So it begs the question, like how often will you see nice things on the ranch? When you pull them off of the trailer, when you bring them in and yeah. then the first use, it just never fails. It's like anything else. You know, if you want to keep something nice or pristine, um, it's, just not going to happen it seems like i mean the first use something's going to happen and it isn't just to all of them it's like to one and it may not happen again for years but you've got that one right. <laughs> blight there, whatever you've gotten yeah panels are panels are you almost have to think of them like a disposable item yeah but i mean i think it goes it goes beyond that like yeah he's talking about panels and everything but it you're talking horse trailers tack oh, yeah. panels fence uh, equipment tools like the the thing that you People, use the most kids, is the, yeah well yeah me. that too the thing that you use the most though is like it's just always going to be beat up and it, it's not going to look pretty or like on yellowstone where everything is nice and clean and crisp it just reality is everything's beat up it's probably rusted it's it's got chipped paint you know there's nothing about it that actually looks i, I don't know attractive whatsoever well and and yeah that's that's the other part of that. Um, maintenance is a big deal on everything. And honestly, paint on a panel is way down the list on maintenance. <laughs> and the only way you're going to get it uh, to look nice like that is to have a painting crew. Well, I am the painting crew. And guess what? I don't paint. Yeah, so neither do I. <laughs> there you go. If I have to, I will. But uh, it's usually a rattle can job on something I've just fabricated. Um, so it, it's, yeah, it's wear and tear. Um, we've got one pick or one trader, a stock trader that is just looks horrendous. Uh, paints faded. And, I mean, it's bad, but you know what? I got a new floor in that. I got new running gear under that. You know, I mean, talking new springs, new axles. And those and are the things we lights. get excited about. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, but you know what? That thing is a beast. Now I, I don't care how it looks. I'm using it, you know, a few times a year to haul cattle. And uh, it, it's not, uh, it's not a priority for me to, to look pretty, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so, um, you know, some of the equipment like that is just, it's, it's used and you do use it. And sometimes you use it hard, you know, and you get a, it makes me mad when you get a, a horse, a colt, especially they do it. Um, two, three year old that you're working with and you take them away from everybody else. And what do they'll do? They'll stand there and paw and they'll kick and paw strike at the side of the trader that they're standing in front of, or that's right in front of it, you know, and they're, they'll put dents in it. I mean, it just, they'll blister the paint on the outside. If it's brand new, I mean, they're turds, you know, because they're having a, a little frustration moment. So um, some of that's willful on their part and they don't know what they're doing. They're just, they're just reacting. So things happen, you know, uh it just ha it just does you get a couple of cows all of a sudden decide that they're gonna fight inside of a trailer like you guys really you got this lifelong beef that you got to settle right now right here so it it happens and not to mention the you know errant backup or right. you know turning too sharp or too fast or i mean things things happen that way too but that's that's more on us when we're not doing what we should be doing or paying attention like we should be doing or distracted. Yeah. Well, and, and I'm thinking of another thing too now is that everything's stereotypical, right? A lot of things, when you see somebody, you, you immediately make that assumption. There's something like, uh, I think in the first seven seconds, you make 11 um, assumptions or, or preconceived notions based off of how somebody or something appears to you. Right. And, and I was thinking when you are looking at somebody and this 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 applies also to there's in the twitter sphere it's been hilarious because everybody goes oh no it's the nfr again because the nfr just happened in, in las vegas and they're like 
all the buckle bunnies are coming right. out in their their western attire and all right. the cowboys are coming out in their yep. new boots and and people are always saying yeah i know who the real ones are because i can look at their boots and i know exactly who's been working and who hasn't and so that's how people are like telling right and that's their preconceived notions it, somebody might have lived their entire life working a ranch but they're wearing their nicest stuff right. and people immediately assume oh they're not a right. real cowboy right right so the thing is too applying to a ranch like this when you see a ranch or or a farm or something that they do have nice things what do you immediately think of when you see that the bank is into them pretty damn deep <laughs> <laughs> they better make a process yeah you know I, I just say when i when i see somebody's got something brand new like that yeah. The first thing I think of is, man, that's probably overdue for getting an upgrade because they probably have been hanging something together for years, and now either they can't get parts or there's they're to a point where they can't, they just can't keep it running anymore, and it's you know costing them money to keep it. I mean, those are the things I think of when I see something like that, or um, you know, and it, it depends on who it is. Some some I I, I know some people personally that. Uh, and know a little bit about their operation. And then when they show up with a brand new pickup, but their pickup they had was not that old. I'm thinking, ooh, here's our taxes. Here's how our tax system is broke. They're forcing mm -hmm. this guy to go and trade in yeah. a decent pickup on something brand new so that he can save money and not get gouged with taxes. Yeah, he's, you know, he's you put spending money to save money. Exactly. Yeah, you know, so, I mean, it just <clears throat> depends. You never, you never know. And I don't, it's what people do with their, with their places, Finances. their dang business is none, of, certainly none of mine. So, uh, but again, that's an assumption, you know, right. I don't know. I don't, I don't look at their books. Um, you know, you know them well enough that I think I know what's going on because, you know, you kind of share that sort of stuff and, and uh, either gripe about something or celebrate something that's going on for them or, you know, yourself. But um, yeah, it, it, those assumptions are, are interesting. The, the boot thing is funny. I, I don't remember how long ago it was your mom and I were in a store like, grocery store and we had just walked in and there was a couple and there was an older couple i mean they're like in their 70s early 70s i i'd probably place them and we walk in and we're grabbing a cart and i'm kind of standing there you know waiting for your mom to grab this cart and bring it and take off and this guy go he said i could hear him say to her he goes see that that's a guy that works look at his boots so it's funny you it's say okay. that you know and I, I turned and looked at him smiling as, yeah, you, you, you ain't, you ain't from town. <laughs> well, you know, cause you don't know, look at the way you dress. I know some guys that dress in hat boots, you know, the works and they don't, they don't get out of town much, yeah. but I mean, they may have come from that culture and they're hanging on to it. So, I mean, I, I never say, Hey, you don't know what you're doing, but the buckle it's bunny part and the brand new gear, when you see somebody with a brand new pickup, brand new trader, they got a horse and they got a brand new saddle. It's not even got scuff marks on it. Nothing. Right. Um, new big conchos and horse hair <laughs> braid hanging off of the, off of the bridle and a new hat and the new works. You're going, Hmm. Been riding long. <laughs> My head, like, nope. <laughs> well, and that's the thing too, is like, I mean, kind of going back to the, the boots thing. And then I, I think of like tack, like saddles and stuff like that too. But most of the time people will say, you know, even, even my nice boots have a scuff or two. And that's when people are like, yeah, they, 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 right. they, they grew that they grow up or they come from that, that area because they probably had to go outside real quick and take care of a cow on their way to church or, or to the <laughs> holiday event. And it scuffed up their boot. Right. Or right. the same with the tack, even, even our nicest saddle, the, I, I would say your nicest saddle is the lady. Right. And, and that, that has a lot of scuffs on it. <laughs> it's uh, where? it's the nice saddle, but it's got, it's got scuffs. It's got gouges. It's got some moose blood on it. In fact, <laughs> like there's just, there's things in there that you're like, yeah, that that's the nicest thing that we have, but it, it oh, there's yeah. definitely stuff there. I mean, when you use it, you know, um, there is a, there is a, an impression of a rope across, <laughs> you know, the seat where, yeah, I, I you know, I, you recall your brother killed a moose and we had not enough we had a, a pack horse but we still had to get a hide and, and uh head and all that stuff out too so you and i walked our horses he rode his killed a moose with a broken leg so we're still yeah. hunting even though he's got a broken leg and the then uh, man you can't give that up <laughs> yeah no doubt and uh a pack horse we packed everything we could on that pack horse and then you and i 
put those on but that weight laying on a um rope that's laid across a, the bottom of a saddle which is you know i'm i'm just using a saddle as a pack saddle um you know did just a a, a quick basket hitch on that well that weight over time where we were walking out made an impression in that seat and it's never come out i mean but those are story marks too right yeah i mean i've seen i've seen rowel marks gouged across the back of a inside of a cantle and you go ooh, that's a pretty good ride somebody took <laughs> you know on somebody's saddle where you, you can see these gouges and it's like it, it's it's spaced almost like a like a, a rumble strip in a on a highway yeah. you know there's interspersed with space between them you go oh i know what that looks like i i've, I've seen that before you know? yep. so uh, wear and tear it happens yeah so again i'll i'll just as we sign off on this one i'll i'll, I'll say the tweet again because it's absolutely <laughs> it's accurate great. of all the ridiculous things on yellowstone the most unrealistic thing is that ranch is on, on that ranch is that the set of panels that are all the same color and not beat the shit it's just yeah. it's it's gold i thought it was great so <laughs> with that we'll put it out to pasture <laughs>